Everybody Thank you, sir. <laughs> well, they sure are spinning some Jeez. fancy ones tonight. As far as the but they're sure see. pretty to hear. Even if they are a bunch of lies. <laughs> a great fleet coming down into the Bahia de San Francisco. Everywhere. Sails of purple, crosses of gold. The long flags of El Rey de España flying from every mast. Hooray for El Rey! Hooray! Hooray! And on the deck of the first ship stands Almirante Ortega himself. My great, 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 great grandfather. Don Jose, you're really going strong tonight. Let me buy you another drink. Gracias, muchacho. Gracias. Viva Don Jose Ortega! Viva Don Jose Ortega! Gracias. And for all that, a grateful king gave to the Ortegas a great grant of land. So they could live from then on, like the grandees of old Spain. Yeah, yeah, we know. And somewhere in your house, you got a brass box full of papers, proving you own the whole blame country. Even the mine from which you extract my silver is mine. <laughs> your silver, Jose. You one big lie, I think. <laughs> there is such a box, bound in brass. With a coat of arms of the Ortegas on the lid. And inside, there are some... And inside is the biggest win this side of Chihuahua. That's what's inside. The Ortega family is very ancient. In our veins flows the blood of many a king. <laughs> In your veins, old man, flows too much cheap tequila. I think we'll fix that. The last person who slapped my face, old man, was wearing a dress. And she didn't come out too good. Leave him alone, Muller. Why don't you stay out of this? The old fool asked for it. So did you. Gracias, muchacho. De nada. You all right, Don Jose? Ah, yeah, sure, I'm all right. Those like him make fun of me and laugh at me, but one of these days, they'll see. Right, one of these days. Right now, why don't we see if we can't get you home? That's right, yes. I'm tired. know about that? Oh, Don Jose came by early this morning. I guess he told you the fight wasn't my idea. He did, as a matter of fact. I'd watch that fellow Muller, though. He seems like the kind of man to carry a grudge. Yeah, I'll keep an eye on him. I can't help feeling sorry for Don Jose. You know, all the stories he tells about the ancient glory of his family. And you look at him and see how little he's ended up with. I'm afraid most of old Don Jose's stories are just big, wild dreams. 
He left you this, by the way. Oh. Yeah, he's a nice guy. Chalice. Well, that's pure gold. It'd be worth a lot of money. I, I can't accept a gift like that. It's, it's probably an heirloom that's been in the family all these years, and he's hung on to it even though he's been penniless. Maybe all old Don Jose Stewart's angels' wild dreams after all, huh? Don Jose, the, uh, the gift you sent me, I can't accept it. But why not? It's for you, for last night, for being my protector, my salvador. No. Mm -hmm. no, no this is going to mean an awful lot to you. I don't want you to give it up just because of a little incident in a bar. But I must express my gratitude somehow, please. All right. Being your friend is gratitude enough. Bueno, at least come into my house and have a cup of coffee. And well, then I'll take you up on. Fine. Bienvenido. Please forgive my shabby house. I no longer like to bring my American friends here. But you are different. Si, senor. Muy bueno y muy simpático. Bienvenido a todas horas. Pase. Aquí está su café. You know, Don Jose, if you'd have some of the folks of Virginia City come out and take a look at this place, you wouldn't have anybody laughing at your stories. This is like a museum. <laughs> Even if they saw it, they wouldn't believe it. They would still think I was lying. Come, come, sit down. Have your café. Gracias. No hay por qué. This place is really something. I'm glad you like it. Oh, Joe Cartwright. I want you to meet my sobrinito, my little nephew. The last of the clan, my only hope, Miguel Ortega. I guess I've only heard your uncle talk about you a couple of hundred times. That effect. And why shouldn't I? He is a boy with great education and a wonderful horse wrangler, too. He just arrived from Texas to stay with his uncle for a while. Come, come, have your coffee. Hey, mind if I look around for a while? Go ahead. I see you're impressed. Uh, who wouldn't be? You don't believe my uncle is such a liar anymore now, huh? Miguel! Que vergüenza! The señor Catright está en mi casa, and you apologize to him inmediatamente. ¿Lo entiendes? Inmediatamente! Dispenseme, señor. No hay por qué, señor. Please forgive him. It's all my fault. I told him last night what happened at the bar. It's all right, it's all right. How people it. laugh at Get me. Get it, I understand, I understand. Thank you. No hard feelings. Gracias. Well, I think I better be on my way. Thanks for showing me the place. Nah, don't mention it. Saludos a su papá. Sí. Hasta luego. Hasta luego. Ay, muchacho. Eres un majadero. Where are your manners? You make me feel ashamed of your uncle. Why? He comes swaggering in here. The padrón visiting the peon. He doesn't swagger. Yes, the Cartwrights are owners of a great big rancho. But friends, real friends. When I was delabled, they gave me work. When I was sick, they sent me their doctor, paid my bills, sent me food. It was to them I was going to take you so you could work on their Ponderosa while you are here. Wouldn't you like that? Sure, why not? I haven't got any choice.
But I don't like to see my uncle, Don Jose Ortega, fawning and telling lies and being humble to the ones who stole his land and his birthright. Tell me something, uncle. That story I've heard so many times. The brass box with papers about a big land grant for the Ortegas. Was that story one of the lies, too? What difference does it make? Even if there was such a box, it would only hold an old man's memories, mementos, dreams of days gone by. Muy bien, muchacho, muy bien. ¿Ah? Oh, aquí está el señor Carrai, te portas bien. Buenos días. Uh, hello, Don Jose. I'm oh. sorry I'm late. That's all right. I want you to meet my nephew, Miguel Ortega. Señor Carrai. Well, this is your favorite nephew, is it? Your uncle has told me a great deal about you, Miguel. And he's the best horse wrangler in the world. I hope you give him a job here, huh? Please. Well, I guess with my son Adam away, I could use another hand. Wonderful! If he can handle it. I can handle it. Of course he can. Show them, muchacho! Do you mind? Let me have him. Be my guest. Okay, let him go. Sigue Eso es, eso es. Good, very good, very good job of horse wrangling. Mike, you're on. Muchas gracias, señor patrón. Muy agradecido, señor. <laughs> Hasta luego. Gracias. Mike, how's it going? No complaints. You got any? Uh, none other than a few aching bones. Uh, driving them dang laundry cattle all day. Of course, it's pretty scenery out there. What do you think of the Ponderosa, Mike? It's beautiful. Especially if you happen to own it. Yeah. Yeah. Es tierra hermosa, huh? Imagine that. You know three words of Spanish. Yeah, free Dutch about old. That burner. Wish I knew that lingo. Feel downright ignorant when I get around some of my Mexican friends. You mean Mexican girls? Yeah, yeah, them too. Hey, won't you teach me some Spanish, huh? I hired on here as a horse wrangler, not a Spanish teacher. You find some other peon to tell you what to say to the muchachas.
Well, let's see. With my brother Hoss, that makes, uh, that makes five, doesn't it? Five what? Five men who try to make friends with you, and you try to pick a fight with them. Look, amigo. I do my work, but I pick my own friends and my own enemies. You keep looking, amigo. You're going to find them. Two guesses who'd be sorry if I did. Joseph. Got things to do. Now's the time. Oh, Mike. I think I understand why your uncle was so worried about you hanging on to your job. My uncle talks too much. Yeah, maybe. But, uh... I don't know the reason for your attitude, but it might be an idea if you were to change it. Look, Mr. Cartwright, I do my job and I do it right. Yes, you do a very good job. Well, that's all that should matter. I don't bow and scrape and say, si, senor, for anyone. Including people named Cartwright. Mike! You know a lot about horses. But you still have a lot to learn about people. Nobody around here has to bow or scrape. Oh, come on. You know as well as I do, you think you're doing me a favor letting me work here. On the land my ancestors gave their blood and their souls for. And now their descendants like my poor uncle have to live on charity from the people who stole it. I'm not going to argue the point with you here, but... Unless you change your attitude... Don't worry. I'm clearing out of this territory anyhow. You can keep your job. Most gracious Majesty, Fernando, King of Spain, and all the dominions of the New World. No, no, it was El Duque de Toledo who gave the Ortegas their coat of arms. By command of His Royal Highness, King Fernando. All right, amigos, the entertainment's over for the night. Miguelito, come and meet my friends. Your friends? All right, listen to me, all of you. 
Listen to this, Ortega. Are any of you here educated enough to know about the Treaty of Guadalupe Hidalgo? Like uncle, like nephew. Now we gotta listen to a lot of fancy stuff out of him. You're not talking to an old man now. Well, Mr. Cartwright, maybe you can tell these barflies what the Treaty of Guadalupe Hidalgo is. Oh, I think most of them know. But for those of them who don't, it's the treaty that ended the Mexican-American War. And took away half of Mexico. Do you know one provision of that treaty, amigos? All legitimate grants of ranchos are to be recognized by the American government. Grants like this one, to Juan Garcia Delgado y Ortega and his heirs, to this land in Nevada. Come, Tio. Make room for the patron of all this territory. And that includes your silver mine, uh, Senor Muller. If that's the real thing, where's it been up till now? Never mind where it's been. You're looking at it now. <laughs> He's as full of wind as the old man. Come, Tio. Let's get you away from these bar flies. You're a lawyer, Ira. How serious is this? The provisions of the Treaty of Guadalupe Hidalgo were very specific then. All previous land holdings and grants have to be recognized as valid under United States law. <laughs> There's no time limit on them either. How big a piece of the Ponderosa is this supposed to include? All but one little corner, Ben. What do you mean that... The that somebody could just come along with a piece of paper and then take away land that people have lived and built on all these years? That's exactly what I mean. A treaty or no treaty, that's just plain robbery. Not in the eyes of the law, it isn't. Now, what do we do now, Pa? I don't know yet. What's your recommendation, I Well, first, I'll research all the old records and have a look at those land grant papers before we have to go to court. All right, then we'll wait till we hear from you. Little brother, what happens if it goes against us in court? I don't know. It's all the work Pa's put in this place. It's not fair, no matter what those Spanish grants say. He spent his whole life trying to build up this ranch. I wish there was more I could do, Ben. Appreciate you trying. Ben, we heard Ira was coming out here to talk things over with you. We just couldn't wait no longer. We gotta know where we stand. Well, Don Jose's nephew is going right to the courts. Courts? Ira, you think he's got a chance of winning? If the grant is genuine and clear, Yes, I'd say you'd have a very good chance. Well, that don't make sense, Ira. All these years I spent working my place, and you come along with an old claim and take it away from me? Well, fellas, we might as well face one fact. With that old claim, he can take everybody's place, including the Ponderosa. Well, what do you plan to do about it, Ben? Well, Harry, I guess I'd be lying to you if I said I wasn't worried, but I don't see there's much you can do except wait and see if the claim is valid. I'm telling you something, Cartwright. I'm not losing my lucky star of mine to some old souse. Legal claim or not. Yes, we all feel the same way, but there's no point in getting riled up. We'll just wait and see. Don't you be telling me what to do, Cartwright. It wouldn't surprise me none if you and Ira weren't cooking something up to protect the Ponderosa. It wouldn't surprise me at all.
I'm sorry, Dad. decided that we ought to settle this right now before it goes any further. What would you suggest? We gotta think of something. Like what? I like going over and talking to Jose and Miguel. We sure can't lose anything. Can this be true, Don Felipe? That all this land belongs to me? Adelante. Ah, muchachos, car ride. ¿Qué tal? How are you? Hi, hi. Bienvenidos. Uh, Mike ain't here? Oh, it's Miguel you want to see? No, Don Jose. Actually, we wanted to talk to both of you at the same time. Listen, maybe we better come back later. No, 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 no. He'll be back in a minute. Uh, he went to town. Come on, sit down. Make yourselves at home. Can I offer you anything? A little tequila, cafe? Oh, not for me, thank you, sir. No, me either, me either. Thank you. <sighs> ah. What brings you here? We wanted to talk to both of you about the, the Spanish land grants that Miguel dug up. Oh, yes, yes. Miguel says that all this land belongs to me and to him after I'm gone. Oh. Don Jose, I, I'm afraid I need quite that simple. You mean to tell me that the paper the Miguel dug up is no good? No, 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 say that's, that's not what horse means. It's just that it's a matter that the courts are going to have to decide. Oh, I see. The courts, see, that's, that's the point. It's got to go to court. <laughs> well, Don Jose, do you reckon that if, if our Paul were to make you a, a fair offer, out of court, mind you, that you could see way clear to accept it? Well. Ah, here is Miguelito. My uncle is suddenly entertaining a big, big patron. Two patronis. But of course, why not? The question is, why do the grand patrons Cartwright come to visit my uncle? What? No big red apples, no bag full of silver coins, no papers to sign? Now listen, Mike. No, you listen, young Cartwright. I won't stand for you sneaking into this house behind my back. First of all, nobody snuck into this house behind your back, and I was under the impression it was your uncle's house. Uncle's mine? What's the difference? It belongs to the Ortegas. All this belongs to the Ortegas. Now get out. Miguel! I won't let you speak that way to my friends. Your friends? When are you going to wake up to you? The only friend you've got around here is what's in the brass box. Now, wait a minute, Mike. Your uncle will bear me out in this. Little Joe and I came here for no other reason than to talk to your uncle about considering a, a fair settlement, and that's all. Sure. We'll consider a fair settlement. You're the one that wanted to learn some Spanish, aren't you? Here's an old Spanish proverb. Vivir bien es la mejor venganza. To live well is the best revenge. That's our settlement. And after this, my uncle will live very well. Now, Jose, you think about what we talked about. When you've reached a decision... I'll tell you right now what my uncle has decided. He's decided to fight for his rights. I'm leaving for Carson City today to see about starting legal procedures.
Miguel. Miguel. What has happened to you? I hardly know you. You're behaving like a wild animal. That's only a sample of what they'll all get before I'm through, Tio. We'll pay them back for the way they treated us. All the humiliation. All these years. I came right over. Oh, good. All right, good. Come in. I was just uh, going over these records. Oh, right. the forget it. The forget it. I won't be necessary now. In going over the old records, I came across something mighty interesting. Mm -hmm. Ben, did you know the area roughly covered by the Ponderosa was used as army land temporarily back in the old days? Oh, yes, I uh, had heard something about that when I first got to the territory. Uh, and what about it? Ben, this is what I've been looking for. I'll be able to drag this case on forever. We'll go over all the old army claims. We'll claim public domain. We'll drag it through the courts so long the Ortegas will never be able to see it through. The costs will keep mounting up and up. It'll go on and on. Forget it. Forget it? I don't want to crawl in through any loopholes or tricks. Well, I'm only trying to save your Ponderosa for you, Ben. Oh, I know that, Ira. I'm sorry. I, I know you mean well. But... Ira, if I can't win this legitimately, then I don't want to win it at all. What about your sons? Their rights? What about them? All right. <sighs> That's the way you want it, Ben. That's the way I want it, Ira. Thank you. See Don Jose. Got to come to some kind of an understanding with him. I don't think he'll listen, Paul. How come? I don't know. I just just got a feeling he won't listen to you. That's all. Last chance, old man. You gonna sign this release to all your claims, or ain't you? Even if you kill me, senores. I'll never sign that paper. Sign it, Jose. It's for your own good. Never. You stupid old man. Leave him be! That ain't doing no good. He won't sign that paper. Let's get out of here. What's the matter with you? Are you ready to lose everything you ever worked for because of a crazy old fool? Well, I'm not. Don Jose, will you please sign that paper? We don't want to hurt you no more. All we want is our land. Don Jose, will you sign that paper? Hmm. 
Take a good look, old man. I thought that would get you. <laughs> you gonna sign that paper? You're sure? <laughs> no! It's just a starter, old man. I'm gonna go inside and get your junk. We're gonna build ourselves a fire. We're gonna burn it piece by piece until you say you're signed. <laughs> To my uncle. What's the matter with you? Can you see that he's hurt? You did this to him. Don't be a fool. You get on your horse and you get a doctor here quick. And tell little Joe to come over here. You better be telling the truth, Mr. Cartwright. Now is rest. What about him? His hand should heal soon enough, but uh, broken heart, you never know. Who did this to you, Teo? Tell me. Who did this to you? It doesn't matter now. You were right. You were right. My nephew was right. All of you are my enemies. Gringos desgraciados, I've never done anything to you, and you come and burn and destroy everything I have. Not everything, Tio. We still have the land grant. Come, sit down. You haven't told me. Who were the men that did this to you? Muller. Muller. No te apures. Ya verás. Joe, better go after him. Hunt, uh, if he goes after Mother, you go to the sheriff. Well done. Miguel, don't try anything by yourself. Let Sheriff Coffee handle it. I don't need any help from any sheriff, from you, from any gringo. But will you listen to reason? How do you think your uncle's gonna feel if you get yourself killed? Don Jose is an Ortega. Whatever happens, he will accept it.
All right. Now you can tell me where Muller is. The last time I seen him, he was in the saloon. You better be telling the truth. What's going on here, Joe? Where's Sheriff Coffey? He's in Carson City. I told you before, I don't need any help from any sheriff. Charlie, take him on down to jail. I'll explain it to you later. All right. my life. Thank you, amigo. Come on, you thank me later. I'll get you to a doctor. And Doc Martin said that Miguel must have had his lucky angel on his shoulder because the wound isn't even serious. He's going to be fine. How can I ever thank you? Well, Miguel thanked me and that's thanks enough. I want you to take care of yourself and not worry about a thing. Pa, I'll see you at home. Hasta luego. Hasta luego. Here is the one we should all thank that your son wasn't killed. Say, everything will be all right. It'll be all right. No, no. So much hate. And all on account of my foolish talk. I wish Miguel had never found out about that brass box. Well, you knew it was in it. And a man must stand up for his rights. Don't you hate me for all this? What will you do without your Ponderosa that you work so hard for? Well, I can't say that uh, I'm looking forward to 
what might happen, but we're still friends, aren't we? Yes, we are. In the name of his most gracious majesty, Fernando, King of Spain, and all the dominions of the new world, If it hadn't been for you and your son, Miguel wouldn't be alive. Yes, but, but... Besides, I'll tell you a secret. The grant was no good. My family sold it back to the Mexican government many years ago. So you see, we've lost nothing. sure about that now that's what I said you wouldn't lie to me I don't Jose Ortega y Siqueiros you accuse me of lying Don Jose Ortega y Siqueiros I wouldn't think of it 